Hey everyone, this is June from the Robotech team. Have you found yourself missing content in your Revit libraries? Often after a new installation or after upgrading to a new version, you may have noticed missing families in your Revit library. So here are some methods to access this content depending on your Revit version. So first, let me go ahead and open up a project. So this is Revit 2023. And the first method that I have for you guys is the load Autodesk family command. And so first you'll have to access this through your insert tab towards the right hand side in your load from library panel. Here you have load Autodesk family. Now this was introduced back in Revit 2021 as a way to allow users to sample content in their models without actually having to install the content library locally or on your office network. So here it opens up as a separate browser and you can use this browser to search for whatever content you need and to load it into your project. So here I can see on the left-hand side, let me go back. We have pretty much all of the same categories that you would find if you were to install this content locally. You can click on the specific category that you require. And on the right-hand side, you have a list of different families that are available to you. At the top, there is a search bar. And so if you can type in the specific instance or name of the family that you are looking for. And on the left-hand side, you can also filter this, filter this through specific categories. So if I actually go back, you can see it looks through all of these different categories, looks through these specific folders, or you can choose a specific instance. Let's go back to doors. Right. Now on the right hand side, you can actually select more than one, depending on your version. I do believe still in 2021 and maybe 2022, but feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But in those older versions, you can only select one instance or one family at a time, load that in, and then you'll have to repeat the load Autodesk family command. At least as far as I know in 2023 and newer, you can select more than one family in your list here. Click on load. After it goes through that bar, you'll see now I have the specified types window. So of course, depending on the family, you may be prompted with this window here. It will prompt you for each individual family. So here, this is the uh, single entry door exterior door. I'm going to go ahead and click on the specified sizes. Let's do a couple here. But now if I go back to my architecture door command, I can see here, I have those specific doors as well as types as a part of my type selector. All right, so the second method is going to be actually downloading that Revit content locally. So if I go to my Revit 2024 and I open up a project or make a new one, and I take a look at load family, I can see that I am still missing this content. Luckily in the newer versions of Revit, they have actually started to add this little family here as a part of the library, which actually tells you where to go if you're looking to install it yourself. But as you can see, I'm missing quite a few folders in this list here. So to load this in, all you have to do is access your preferred browser. I'm gonna go ahead and use Google Chrome. Go ahead and search Revit Content Library 2024, and it should be the first link that appears. If anything, look for the actual Autodesk website. And then here you can find your Revit Content Libraries. Make sure it is, of course, for the version that you are using. I will go ahead and place a link down below for versions 2023 and 2024. Otherwise, just search for the version that you have installed on your system. Also keep in mind for Revit LT, that version is gonna be separate. So I believe on all of these links, you will be finding on the same webpage, a link to that LT, otherwise include LT in your actual search. Here it does tell you actually how to install this, so this is good. And then also some basic notes is it does need to be installed in the same path where your program or your Revit program is installed. It also does tell you here where to find that path. So the default location is going to be here under program data, then Autodesk, and then your Revit version. Now, if we scroll down, it is organized based off of your language. So I'm going to look for the US English. 
a little bit further down here. So here we have US English content for Revit 2024. On the right hand side, simply click on the link and it's going to install it. Sorry, it's going to download the file to your folder. Here I already have it installed. It may take a, bit, a little bit because it is about two gigs. And then I'm going to quickly run through the window when you try to install it. All right, here I'm going to show sped up the process that it's going to follow when it comes to installing the files. Simply follow the on screen prompts and I'll meet you guys back when it is done installing. And now let's check this out. So again, I'm in Revit 2024. I'll go ahead and create a new project. Let me go to insert. Let's do the plain load family command. And now you can see I have all of my folders. If I open up any of these categories, you see I now have access to those families. All right, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you find the content you need for your Revit projects.